I don't know many women that train like I do. I'm there every day. Same time, same place, never skip. <sighs> Even if I'm sick. 95% of the men in the gym will not be anywhere near lifting as heavy as I am gonna be today. <sighs> We're definitely gonna go for a PR. It's basically four 45 pound plates on both sides of the machine. Drop all the way down, press back up and squeeze the glutes. My name is Brittany and I am an IFBB women's physique bodybuilder. I'm ranked 13th in the world. I think I will be able to accomplish at least top five this year. This is one of my favorite trophy prizes. So probably almost 100 girls altogether. I won out of everybody. My skin gets so dry out here in Florida, it's like... For those that don't know, a bodybuilding competition, you train for weeks trying to lose weight or get leaner or whatever status you're in to achieve the best look you can to show up to do a bodybuilding show. There's a panel of judges. Please welcome Brittany Watts. That decide who has the best physique. It's about what is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Suits are crazy. So if your suit isn't blinged out, you're probably not gonna score very well. You gotta have a good tan. Your face has to be completely slayed. Lashes out to the back row. Your hair has to be done. Your nails, the whole thing. It's really kind of unfair, because you know, as a girl, we spend like probably close to five grand getting ready for a show. And a dude is buys a $30 pair of trunks and gets a $50 tan and he's ready. And they get paid more than us. Don't even get me started. We'll do another episode for that one. <laughs> I was born and raised in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. My parents were traveling ministers. I rebelled every day. Bodybuilding probably saved my life because I was just very self-destructive. Partying every night, that was my life. It was just a revolving, unhealthy door. So I said, we're gonna change it right now. I always knew that I wanted to have a better physique. I moved to Miami because I wanted to pursue a career in bodybuilding and I knew it wasn't really going to be achievable if I didn't leave. I really enjoy the lifestyle. It's very structured. Your muscles grow and you just improve daily. That, that's what keeps me hooked, wanting to constantly improve. So this is our son. It's Ronnie. Baby Ron Ron. Baby Say, Ron, hi. Ron. Say hi. Say hi. My boyfriend's name is Julio and we met at the gym. We both train really hard. After training, we started dating and um, here we are. I've tried in the past dating somebody who wasn't into bodybuilding, let alone fitness, and it just doesn't really, they, it doesn't match. We both train together every day. Who would win a bodybuilding contest between my boyfriend and I? I mean, if I had to answer, I'd say me, <laughs> of course. I've been preparing for my next competition for a couple of weeks due to the corona COVID-19 craziness though. It's kind of been a little scattered all over the place because I had planned to do one show and then it got canceled and then I planned to do another show and that show got canceled. So I've probably been prepping for about seven weeks now, actually eight or nine. Today we're going to go to my local gym and we're going to train some back, which is one of the things that the judges have asked me to improve on. Bodybuilding isn't about how much weight you can pull, it's about how you pull the weight. So if we're doing things incorrectly, you're not gonna get the same effect as if you're doing them correctly. So today I'm gonna try to set a PR on lat pull downs. 95% of the men in the gym will not be anywhere near lifting as heavy as I am gonna be today. At least three reps on the hammer loaded lat pull down machine. I'm gonna try to pull these at least twice. 
basically four 45 pound plates on both sides of the machine. It's important to accomplish PRs, that way you know that you're improving and you're getting better. If your strength is the same, is your physique really improving? Like 380, I don't know. 90. 405. 180. 180. Huh? 360. Yeah, 360. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. You got it? Okay. Come on. <sighs> Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, it wasn't that bad when you were still assisting. You let go, it took me with it. It's you. <laughs> Nice Let's, and ugly, huh? I am really proud of Brittany's determination. She's one of the strongest person I know. Hey! She inspired me to be great as well. What I love about Florida the most, it's almost always sunny, and I love the accessibility to bodybuilding. I think it's important to let people know that when you start anything in life, there's gonna be plenty of people that tell you no, that tell you you can't. I think it is important that you chase your goals and you don't let anybody tell you no. The horizon for me would consist of me continuing to get better at my practice in bodybuilding and continuing to try to be number one. I'm excited for where I am right now, but even more excited for the future because I know I'm not anywhere near where I'm gonna end up being. So every day is definitely something to wake up and be excited about. <laughs>